Good morning and welcome to Wednesday's time of silence and reflection. Set somewhere comfortable, relaxing. And this time of deliberately putting aside thoughts and concerns about tasks for the day ahead. Just being aware of being present to ourselves, being conscious of our breathing, a thing that's always there within us, always constant. And we can receive this time as a real gift today. So as we enter our first two minutes of silence, we imagine perhaps carving out this time just to be present to ourselves and present to God. A gift. So come Holy Spirit, help us to know ourselves in the presence of our loving God in these moments. Amen. Today's reading comes from Mark's Gospel, chapter 3, uh, verses 31 to 35. Jesus' mother and brothers arrived. Standing outside, they sent someone in to call him. A crowd was sitting around and they told him, your mother and brothers are outside looking for you. Who are my mothers and my brothers? he asked. Then he looked at those seated in a circle around him and said, Here are my mothers and my brothers. Whoever does God's will is my brother and sister and mother. It's one of those passages that initially seems really difficult to understand. 
Jesus, why wouldn't you just welcome your family in? But as often is the case, Jesus isn't being unloving. He's merely opening up his love, broadening the landscape, if you like, broadening our minds. When we become Christians, we are adopted into the family of Jesus. Jesus was clear and direct in calling people to have a first loyalty to him. Discipleship, that following of Jesus and being an apprentice of his, he made clear, is putting off the sinful patterns of unbelief so that we might put on choices of faith being transformed to live as members of Jesus' family. As we go back to go forward, we find that it is a never-ending process. We go back, breaking some destructive power of the past. Then later, on a deeper level, God has us return to the same issue on a more profound level. Thomas Keating compares God's work in us to a mid Middle Eastern tell or archaeological site where one civilization is built on another in the same place. Archaeologists excavate level by level, culture by culture, down through history. The Holy Spirit, he says, is like a divine archaeologist digging through the layers of our lives. The Spirit intends to investigate our whole life history layer by layer, gulp, throwing out the junk and preserving the values that were appropriate to each stage of our human development. Eventually, the Spirit begins to dig deep into the bedrock of our earliest emotional life. Hence, as we process towards, sorry, as we progress toward the center where God actually is waiting for us, we are naturally going to feel that we are getting worse. This warns us that the spiritual journey is not a success story or a career move. It is rather a series of humiliations of the false self. Well, that's all pretty deep today, isn't it? But I suppose there's something we can understand, the idea of the archaeologist, you know, digging down and scraping out what's there and what was it the Holy Spirit did it say? Like a divine archaeologist digging through the layers of our lives, helping us to remove, revere and remove what's not necessary and preserving that which is good takes our whole lives, I suppose, as we follow Jesus and become more like him bit by bit. So the question to consider today has in it those words we used once before, the idea of the false self, that self that is not the true person we are made to be, but that false self we kind of make up through possessions or career or through wanting to please people. And that's, I think, what's being chipped away at here. So our question to consider is this. What full self are we struggling with that Christ wants us to die to so that we can truly live? What full self are we struggling with that Christ wants us to die to so that we can truly live. Two minutes may not be time enough to reflect and sit with that, but two minutes is what we have and may God bless us in this further time of reflection as we just meander in our thoughts where the Holy Spirit takes us in God's holy presence.
Holy Spirit, I invite you to dig through the layers of my being that hinder my relationships and communion with others. Grant me perseverance to allow you to dig deeply, excavating out of me all that is not of Christ, so that I may be filled with your presence. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So may God bless you and me in the rest of our days. Amen. Thanks for being with us today.